Hello dear YouTubers and welcome to this new video. This one is setting up your Holtas 4 or Holtas X, that's a PC variant of this, to use with Flight Simulator 2020. So how to set up the buttons and controls and views and all that good stuff. One thing I should mention, as I mentioned this is a Holtas 4, it's compatible with PlayStation 4 and PC, that's why I bought it, because I own both those systems. If you have the Holtas X, this should work as well, because they're pretty much the same Holtas style system. The PC, obviously, uh, the Holtas X, just has a different branding on the actual unit itself and a couple of extra buttons here, I believe, but they're pretty much the same. So what works for this should work for the Holtas X as well. So without further ado, let's jump onto the PC and start setting this up. So in Flight Simulator 2020, you want to go to Options, and controls and the good thing is if you plug in your Holtas 4 or Holtas X effectively it should come up with the name it should actually find it and you'll have this default here that's your default profile that they've set up for you but it should come up with the name it won't come up with the picture it seems like the Holtas 4 or perhaps the Holtas X is not officially supported by Flight Simulator 2020. Again, I have the Holtas 4 so I can only uh, confirm that this is not officially supported by the looks of things. But it should come up with the name. And in fact, it does map some primary control services for you. Things like your ailerons, your left and right and your elevator, your pitch, your up and down, and even your rudder access. I'll show you a picture of where that rudder access is on the Holtas 4. It's in the front of the throttle lever. That's even set up for you. As default, the sensitivity of that rudder access is too sensitive. I found it too sensitive. So when I'm taxiing on the ground, it was just too sensitive. So I went to sensitivity, I'll click on it here, and it's the Z axis, the rudder is the Z axis. I changed that to something like minus four. It, at default, it's 1%. I changed that to something like minus four, or minus five, probably minus four. It's going to say, do I want to save that to a profile name? If you're going to mess around with sensitivity and buttons, you'll have to s save it to a new profile name. I've actually, I'm not going to save it because I've got a profile set up already, which is just the Holtas 4 profile. And if I go to sensitivity, sensitivity again, you should see that I've set it at minus four, the rudder uh, axis. And that feels good for me. It doesn't feel oversensitive. I've not messed around with the elevator and aileron sensitivity because that feels fine for me. So let's go back to the default. This is the way it's set up it by the game for you. Also under flight control services, you've got things like flaps. I think I've left them the way they were set up. I'll show you a picture of where the flaps are set up on the Holtas system. That feels fine for me. For control services, as default, you've got these uh, slider access set up as elevator. I didn't like that. So on my uh, profile, I've actually set my elevator so it trims, elevator trim, so elevator trim nose down and nose up. If you don't know what elevator trim is, learn it because it is very useful. So when you take off and you find yourself pitching too high, you can trim the plane for level flight so it's not climbing or, or decreasing uh, too much or descending too much so you can trim the plane. I'll show you a picture of the buttons where I've got my elevator trim set up and that's where I find it most useful. Also on my profile I've set my brakes up. So we're going back to that default profile. This is the way the game sets it up for you. Go through the buttons on your system and set up where you would like 
the various buttons, the brakes, uh, the elevator trim, the flaps, and whatever. I mean, on my system, I know I've got to set up another button that I would like, and that's my cockpit camera. On my reset cockpit view, I don't like that button there, so I'm going to clear it, and I'm just looking at my actual physical Holtas system. I'm going to select a different button for that. I'm going to click a button where I would like my cockpit, so when you're in the cockpit, you want the view reset. I'm going to press a button for that. Ah, now I've actually got that set up, so I won't. So let me choose a different button. Reset cockpit view. Let's choose, let's just think, yeah, that button. I've got a button set on my system, a button I would like on my system set as reset cockpit view. Number four, and it's not taken by anything else. So I'll validate that and I'll apply and save it. So once again, on the default profile, go through the various buttons that are set up by default. If you don't like where they are, change them. And I've got mine set up to my own profile. So I've changed some buttons. I've changed the brakes. I've changed the elevators. As you just saw, I changed my uh, reset uh, cockpit view there and various other buttons. Go through it, change it to the way you would like it. Change the sensitivity. I would suggest changing the sensitivity of the rudder for sure to where it feels natural for you and then apply and save. Now, by default in Flight Simulator 2020, with your hat switch, so on the hat switch on the Holtas 4 in this case, the default view, if you hold left and release, it will spring back to the center for you. If you hold right and release, again, it will spring back. If you go up, it will stay up, and then you just press down to go back down again. If you press down, it will stay down. That's the default system. Now I prefer, let's go to options and you want to go to general. So I pressed escape. I'll go to general and go to camera. I prefer that quick view function. I prefer to have it on toggle. This is the way I prefer it. So I, I change that to toggle, apply and save, go back, resume, and if I click left now, it will stay left until I click left again. If I click right, let's just trim the aircraft. So I'm using some of my uh, controls that I set up that I've just previously just shown you. I'll trim it to go up a little bit. There you go. That's not too bad. So if I click right, it will stay right. It's just trim down again. It's just climbing a little bit too much. Pulled it back in the throttle. This aircraft just does like to uh, over speed. So I've got to be careful. So if I click right, it will stay right until I click right again. That's the way I prefer it. So what if you wanted to uh, use your hat switch just so you can move it around naturally? Let's show you that. Okay, so to use your hat switch in a more natural sense, so instead of going far right or far left, it goes left and right in increments and up and down in increments. Press escape while in flight, preferably. Go to controls. You want to let it load in. You want to make sure that the filter is on all. Basically, the filter by default is unassigned. It's showing you what you have assigned already, the buttons you have assigned. If you go to filter all, it shows you all the buttons that you can assign, even the ones you haven't assigned already. It shows you all the possible controls that you can assign to buttons. So you wanna go to camera in filter all, camera, click on that, and go to cockpit camera. And you wanna scroll down and you first want to find where it's got cockpit quick view right. That's what we have set up at the moment. 
cockpit quick view left. Click in that cockpit right, for example, cockpit quick view right. Click clear current input. Click on that, clear current input, validate. Now that's gone. Cockpit quick view left, click in it, clear current input. Click on that, validate. Scroll down, ignore that reset cockpit view. You wanna keep a button for reset cockpit view, especially if you're gonna do this. I'll show you why in a moment. Click on the others as well, previous pilot position, clear current input, and next pilot position, clear current input, and validate, and apply and save. Now we have that set up, we want to go to just the ordinary cockpit look down, and look left, and look up, and look right. Click on cockpit look down, search by input, and pull your hat switch down, because that's where you want to assign cockpit look down. Pull your hat switch down. It will say it's already assigned. Don't worry about that. It's not going to affect it while you're in the cockpit. It's the external view. But don't worry about that because that's not going to affect anything. Click validate. Cockpit look left. Click on that. Move your hat switch left. And again, it's going to say it's already assigned somewhere. Don't worry about that. It's not going to affect it for the purpose I'm going to show you here. Click validate. So we got look left. Cockpit look right. Click on that. Click in search by input. Move your hat switch right. I'm sure you get the point already. Don't worry about these things. Press validate. And cockpit look up. Click on that. Search by input. Move your hat switch up. Don't worry about that external view and press validate and apply and save. Now you can mess around with the cockpit look down right, cockpit look down left. I find that tricky to do. So if I go cockpit look down, actually cockpit look down left. And if I try to move my hat switch down and left, people have figured this out. I'll link you to my uh, Logitech flight your system setting that up. If you look at the comments, people have figured this out. I haven't, and it doesn't matter for me because this is not the views I would like set up anyway. But if you can figure that out, actually go down and look down left and click search by input and move your hat switch down and left. And if you can get that working, fine. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll show you what's happened here. We've got the look down, look left, look right, look up, all configured. Apply and save. Go back. Resume simulation. Now if I move my hat switch left and right and up and down, it does it in increments, like you had it set up in other flight simulators perhaps. So now it gives you a more natural mm -hmm. view. Excuse that, that's just my phone pinging there. It will give you a more natural view. When I said before that you want a button set up for reset cockpit, so if you have, if you're moving around and you can't quite center it back into the center, just press that button where you've got your cockpit uh, reset button set up and it will reset your view back to your uh, normal viewing position, your normal forward viewing position. So there you go, that's how you would set your views to use your hat switch in increments. And this actually works fine on this system. I actually might keep this on the system because normally I don't like this sort of uh, increments moves in aircraft. But in this case, you know, it actually works quite well. I actually quite like this. So I may keep this set up. Anyway, that's how you would set up your viewing system on the Holtas 4. So now let's show you all this in action. I, mean, I think I'm in the Cub uh, aircraft, which is normally controlled by a sort of joystick similar stick system. Let's first show you, I'm at Donegal by the way, one of the handcrafted areas in Flight Simulator 2020. Quite a nice place to 
go around. I'm just moving my throttle up a bit because I want to show you the taxiing. There you can see the aircraft moving. With the settings I had set up before, so the sensitivity, taxiing now feels quite accurate. It feels, doesn't feel over sensitive and it's quite nice to taxi. In fact, with that rudder there on the front there, that rudder access, it's very nice to taxi in these aircraft. I'll stop there. I've got my brake set up to that third button there. So I'm all great. Go into the cockpit. Move my rudder full forward. Just going to take off. The nose should drop in the aircraft as it picks up speed. And it should take off at some point. There we go. So we're taking off. I'm just going to move my throttle back a bit because it does like to overspeed. I'm going to use my pitch trim now. So that's my button that I've got set up for pitch. Actually, I might need to pitch up a bit, trim up a bit. There we go. So I'm just trimming the aircraft so it's mainly in level flight. So pitch down, I've got, and that's for pitch up. I'll show you the hat switch, so the cockpit as you can see, just move my hat switch left and right and up and down, that works fine. My reset cockpit view button is that button, so it just resets to the normal front position. And as you can see it all works fine, flaps, so if I move my view left there, I've got my flaps, there's two buttons on uh, uh, in front of this throttle system, I've got them set up. For flaps, as you can see, put the flaps down, press another button to put the flaps up, reset my cockpit view, my craft will be going crazy now because I've messed around with my flaps. But as you can see, it all works fine in game. So the viewing system, reset cockpit view, the trimming system, what's my craft doing at the moment? It's okay, so let's just trim up and you'll see the nose of the aircraft will rise, trim down, the nose of the aircraft will go down as it is doing there, trim up again so I'm not trimming too far down, center my controls so as you can see it works just fine. So conclusion time that's how you set up your controls on the Holtas 4 and possibly the Holtas X system. I can't confirm that but I, because I don't have that system, but they're pretty much the same form factor. It should work with your Holtas X as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any more, if you have any difficulties with your Holtas 4 system, let me know. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more. There'll be more videos on the way and I hopefully shall see you soon.